Well, hello everybody. Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, is here for an unboxing, and this is a loot box unboxing. This is like a monthly subscription box full of precious metals, and it has different tier levels depending on how much you're able to spend monthly. This comes from Steven's Best Loot, and I actually unboxed one of these. Uh, it's been a few days now, a couple of weeks actually, uh, but you know, back by popular demand, a lot of people wanted to see me do more, and so I reached out to Steven's Best Loot, and I said, hey, let me do another one of these boxes. I want to show people what you're doing. And the difference between this box is that, uh, in particular, Stephen's Best Lou is trying his best to tailor the boxes individually to people that he knows. And he, you know, hey, this guy likes Morgan dollars. I'm going to try my best. If I have extra Morgan dollars to throw one or two in the box, whatever, you know, you can do depending on the value of your box. But that's kind of the goal there is to tailor it more towards the individual buying, which I think is actually pretty special. You know, most loot crates or loot boxes or things like that, it's just whatever is cheap, uh, you know, and kind of plentiful for the uh, person that has to put them together. In this case right here, it's more, like I said, tailored to you as the buyer. So I'll have information down in the description for Stephen's best loot, how to get a hold of him, how to get in touch for one of these subscription boxes. So there we go, it's a loot box. There's some information right there. Feel free to pause the video if needed to check that out. But again, I'll have most of this stuff down in the description. Now, Steven's best loot, he kind of actually, which is a unique to me to the loot box phenomena, he actually puts the information about what he values things at. And I'm gonna not look at this, I'm gonna let you look at it right here. I'm just gonna try to keep it to the side and not really focus on what all this says because I really, really, really want to just kind of do it blind. You know, I just, I, I want to go in there without having to know what's in there. So I promise I did not look at that. I have no idea what any of that says. Um, if you see some really personal information on there, try to do me a favor and just erase it from your memory. But here we go. We're going to start with the first bag I just happened to pull out, which is, I think, a smaller of the two bags. This one right here is much lighter. Um, if I had to guess, that's some sort of slabbed coin, and that's just going to be a guess, but it just feels light and uh, larger. So here we go. What do you think? Dump it out right there. Let's see. Here we go. We're dumping. We're dumping. All right, that seems to be the end of that bag. Yes, that's the end. Let's put that in the trash instead of like, you know, just on the desk like a Neanderthal. Sorry if you're a Neanderthal out there and that, you know, was offensive to you. Uh, let's see. So the first piece I'm looking at here. Oh, that's kind of neat. Some sort of like little like poor peace dollar looking piece. Let me check this out. So you know I love peace dollars. Trying my best to pull the squeeze out on the peace dollars and just trying to, you know, just buy up history and just hold it in the hands of somebody who actually enjoys it. So this is very interesting, right? So this is some kind of uh, take on the peace dollar, 1922, and God we trust. Kind of neat, kind of neat. What is this? Oh, it's an MK Bars piece. All right, kind of different, huh? Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more on this peace dollar here. Did that work? Oh yeah, there you go. So yeah, just something, something different. All right, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Not as cool as a regular peace dollar, but hey, if you like poured silver, that right there is pretty special. What is this? Oh, look at that. Almost reminded me of one of my pieces because it has the star on there. This right here looks like a little Spartan style piece, right? It's got the little like uh, Punisher skull. 2021 MK bars. Another one of MK bars poured silver pieces. I like poured silver. Um, Steven's best loot. He knows that stuff and he knows about me a little bit that I like that kind of thing. So, ah, look at these. I see a Las Vegas token. Those are fun, right? Limited edition, $10 gaming token. You know, I remember going to Las Vegas uh, when I was allowed to and when I was legally allowed to gamble. Uh, I went there, I played a machine. I can't remember the look at the machine, but I remember the token that came out and it was just like this. Of course, it wasn't the exact same design, it was different, but it had that you know coppery rim and the silver token in the middle. And uh, I was like, man, this is cool. And you could cash it in for 10 bucks, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna keep this. You know, and for a young guy going out there, $10 was a lot of money at the time, but I just felt like keeping it. And I guess I had a reason for it and it's with me still today. So here we go. Oh boy, the White House piece. I don't know if I'm going to currently like this one. I'll just say, say it like that. Let's see. Okay. All right. Whew. All right. 
I can handle this a lot better than any kind of current situation. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a little Donald Trump piece right there. Um, and then we're going to go to this bag right here. Now, um, I didn't really talk about it too much, but this is a $250 uh, loot box. So um, there's a $50 tier. Um, I think there was a $100 tier. I'm sure the tier levels are somewhere easy for us to find. There's a lot of stuff in here, actually. Wow. Um, let me see if it was on here. No, the, the tier level's not on that. But if you check out the links in the description down below, you see all the tier levels. I think it even goes up to a $1,000 level. So there's something out there for everybody. What is this little fellow? Um, <laughs> a little... A little Donald Trump piece. I tell you what, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> yes, let's go Brandon FJB. That is for sure. Wow, some people are really going to hate me now for having this, right? Hey, listen, I'm just the unboxer, right? But I do like that piece. And I like that it's a small piece. Do you never see small little pieces like that? You know, like for cheap at least. Does it say uh, one gram, 999 silver? It's hard to see. It's on the bottom right there. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay. Um, this right here, holy smokes. You think that's really a California nugget, huh? Natural one gram. That is cool. That is something you don't see in a loot box, ladies and gentlemen. That is phenomenal. Look how stinking cool that is. That is, I want to touch it. <laughs> I just want to touch. I want to take it out of there is what I really want to do. What do you think? Should I take that out of there? Listen, Steven, I know you probably worked, you know, your tail off trying to get that in there and label it for me, but a nugget is no good if my fingers are not all over. And it's gold too, so I think we can justify getting our hands on this thing. That is cool, huh? I love, love natural nuggets. Uh, sometimes like on social media, you'll have people on there that, you know, they find these nuggets out there or they just deal in that kind of trade where they get the, you know, Alaskan nuggets all the time. I just get mesmerized by those, you know, pictures and videos of them just holding this stuff. This is a big one. I did a little panning. And of course, panning is all seated. You know, all the dirt is, it comes, you know, predetermined how much gold is in there and kind of what pieces are going to be in there if they're larger. Um, nothing was this big in that uh, pay dirt. This is, this is really cool. It feels really, really neat. Steven, you hit it out of the park with just that piece right there alone. That is cool. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. I want to show the wife that one too. She'll think that's kind of cool. The kids will probably too. And what is this piece right here? Oh, man, look at that. Huh? Imagine if that was the S, huh? 1909 VDB PCGS MS64 Red. That is awesome. You know, on my channel, I am a collector of precious metals for sure, but I really started before precious metals into the coin game. Coins are my main interest and precious metals are just kind of an offshoot of that. Um, this is awesome. This is really cool. I don't have a really, really nice uh, graded uh, scent, wheat scent, and I definitely don't have a nice 1909. My only 1909 is kind of jacked up in condition. Let me take out of this plastic. What am I doing, everybody? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I get mesmerized and I lose track of what I'm doing. Look at the VDB right there at the bottom of the scent. That is how you know. How cool is that, huh? That is cool, Steven. Good work on that. And that's, you know, him knowing that I collect coins and maybe sometimes on his part, going out on a limb, you know, experimenting a little bit, seeing if uh, the person that buys these are going to like some of this stuff. Uh, that's something right there, to be honest with you, that personally, I don't know that I would have gotten on my own. Um, maybe way down the road, who knows? I definitely want one. I've been wanting one, but it's just, it's always been something that I've just sidetracked my mind to getting something like that. And now that it's in my collection, um, again, I'm going to go show the family and I'm going to show them a little history of, you know, what a VDB scent is. Uh, some of my friends that are watching this, they'll understand, uh, why this wheat scent is a little different. Um, of course it's not the S because the S is big, big bucks. And that would be cool if it was the San Francisco mint 1909 VDB, but this is still really, really cool. And you're getting a piece of history that's encapsulated, you know, Mint State 64 in red condition. Uh, this, that's cool, Stephen. I'm, I'm pretty happy to have that. I'm very talkative about it just because of how happy. And that nugget, huh? Wow. So listen, 
if you got a couple extra, uh, you know, green nuggets laying around dollar wise, and you want to go ahead and turn that into some coins and medals and, you know, odds and ends that uh, Stephen's best salute may end up finding in his travels. And you can get a part of that, man. And, you know, like I said, this is something that's tailored to a person. It's tailored to you as a buyer. As Steven starts to understand you more and, and learn about who you are, especially if you're somebody that gets onto social media and uh, interacts with Steven, and, you know, maybe you're a buyer from him on there on like Instagram where he does some of his live shows and sells on there. He'll start to know like, oh, you like, you know, X, Y, Z. And so if that comes available uh, in an affordable option for your box, probably will slide it into your box because he knows you like it. And so it, it's, it's a little bit more special. And so I'm actually kind of uh, proud of Stephen for doing this. You know, I had kind of thought of some ideas, um, you know, many times. I'm an idea. I'm a thinker. Uh, but that was something that I've always thought would be cool if they could just, you know, individually pack loot boxes like this. But I didn't think it was possible. You know, I just thought it was going to be too much work, especially start, when you start getting like thousands of people. But if you have a small following... Um, and you know people a little bit and you are able to, you know, get to know people via Instagram or Facebook or whatever you got, um, you can really, you know, really make some people have some cool collections and even make their collections even cooler. Like I said, I don't have a, a slabbed weed scent and I'm quite proud to have that in my collection now. That's cool. That's going to go amongst, you know, other really nice slab coins that I have. And I'm, I'm proud of it. And this little thing right here, this little nugget is... It's 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 uh it's really cool. I don't know. I'm gonna like I said. I'm gonna go show this stuff off to the uh, the family because they're gonna want to see it, look at it just like I am, and they better not lose it or there's gonna be a lot of problems. I know that much. Anyways, I'm blabbing on down in the description down there below. Uh, check out Stephen's best loot information. Listen, get in on one of these uh these monthly boxes because why not? You know, get to know Stephen. Let him get to know you and have something tailored to you. This is really really cool. Uh, you're getting in at kind of like the ground level on this because he just started it. So, you know, take this as an opportunity to get into something cool, I think. I think you should. Anyways, I got to go for now. Appreciate you for watching. Steven, if you're watching, you put together a really, really cool box for me. Um, let's do it again sometime. But for right now, though, Spectacular is out. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular.